something just came in the mail so excited and that is my iphone 13 pro max oh my gosh i literally screamed when it arrived at my doorstep i was like waiting by the door when the mail person dropped it off so i figured today i would do an unboxing of my new phone and in future videos i'm going to show y'all what's actually on my iphone uh, but i'm just so excited to unbox this and put it together i also have two other packages the first one is a clear phone case that i got off of amazon i'll have this linked in the description and then the other thing i got is a premium tempered glass screen protector y'all are gonna see me put both of these things on yeah i'm so excited okay let's just get right into it so there are four different colors that you could choose for the iphone 13 pro max i believe those colors were gold silver black and then blue as you can tell i love blue i wear this all the time my necklace is blue my hair clips are blue blue is just one of my favorite colors and for the longest time i've always gotten like white phones or very neutral colored phones so i was like i'm gonna switch it up today and finally go out of my comfort zone so currently i have the iphone 11 this is what it looks like pretty sure there's like sand in the speakers which is like so disgusting ultimately the reason why i'm getting the 13 or why i got it is because i wanted the three cameras okay so this is what it looks like in the box let's Let's take it out. So there's this green tab that we can pull. I heard something that Apple's like trying to be more sustainable with their packaging. Oh yeah, they definitely are. This is gorgeous. Let's take it out. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared to drop it. It's definitely a lot thicker than my 11. It's pretty compact. Also in the box, it comes with a charger. Looks like a pretty good, decent size. I will say though, the one thing that I don't like that Apple has done is add these new like weird endings. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is like the new USB-C thing, whereas before it was like the thicker one. I don't like this. Cord is pretty long, which is nice. An Apple sticker. I just put these on my laptop and then an instructions guide. Very minimal packaging. I really like it. I think it's obviously better for the environment. Yeah, it's crazy. I just remember with all my other phones, packaging was like so crazy. So first thing I'm gonna do is put on the screen protector as well as the case before we even turn it on because knowing myself, I feel like I'm gonna drop it and I just would feel a lot more comfortable knowing that was on. screen protector is now on. I put it on the front and then also the one that came on the back. Now we can put on the phone case. It's just clear. I just wanted that because I really like the clear look. Lunch days and coffee breaks. Tuesdays and random days It's how we spend the worst days of our lives Alright, this is what it looks like Let's try to power it on I just powered my phone on And it has this little cursive writing that says hello That is something I've never seen before So it looks like it's saying it in all these different languages Let's slide up. So first you see all the options of the languages in which you want your phone to be set in. So I'm gonna hit English, select your region, set up manually. Now we're at data and privacy. So I just hit continue. Now it says face ID, so I'm gonna do that. Then it's gonna have you create a passcode. You can choose to do a six number passcode or letters or whatever. I'm just gonna do six because that's what my current password is. Now I'm gonna type in my Apple ID. If you don't have one, it's really easy to create one. I've been on my own since I first got a phone, same with my sister. So mine is completely different from my parents. Mm -hmm. 